Well howdy everyone, uh, here with another van update video and I'll go ahead and just jump right into it. First of all, you'll see I got a little door cover on my uh, propane and water area, but I'll get back to that in a second because it's a little difficult to uh, close the sliding door when it's down obviously. And I want to show you something that I got done on the door. So we'll come back to that and as you can see I have had a chance to paint. Uh, I still got a couple of touch up spots I need to take care of, but uh, nothing I can't fix later. And as you can see, I got this first light switch in. That controls the front four, so I can flip it on right when I come in the door, if it's a little dark outside. Hopping up in, you can see that I was able to stain my sliding tables, or folding tables, I should say. Uh, it came out pretty nice, especially just being plywood. I plan to do another sanding with some really high grit paper and stain them one more time so they can come out really nice. Uh, but still got time to do that since I'm still under construction. I've also added a little folding leg to this table so that it can stand when it's folded down and uh, not lean over. It also is held up by that little uh, bar right there with a little walnut because excessive walnut is always nice. And so that goes folds back down here. And then on top of that, I have had a chance to uh, add a soap dispenser. Is it necessary? No but it matches and it was three dollars and I couldn't say no. Uh, also added a little light switch back here. That controls the back four. And as you can see from this side, I also added a bug screen to kind of help protect the back. It was not a custom, it was just kind of a generic bug screen that I added. Um, just cut it to fit and it worked perfect. I've also added the same paneling that I'll show you in a second on the doors back here. And then I plan on turning these three little cubbies into uh, shelves and the rest will just be covered up so that it uh, covers up some of the uh, exposed metal. Some will still be showing, but I plan on covering up this, this side and the extra foam as well. But as I was saying, I will close this and show off my nice wood panel covered uh, sliding door. Still have to finish off this area, fill it up with a little more foam and then seal it with one more piece. but. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough wood that was wide enough to make it work, but I really like how it came out with kind of a few darker spots, and I do plan to, same as the before, sand it down and do a little more work to it, but I really like how it came out. So I'll open that back up and show the suspended table. So this guy just comes down like this, held and suspended by a nice little rope, and that's my exterior working table. So I've got a little propane area that I'll soon be finishing up. But this I actually hold a couple hundred pounds, but I'm not going to sit on it to test it because the last thing I want to do is break it after how long it took to make it. Uh, but it's a great workspace if I need it and folds up no problem. And it's just held in by friction uh, working on these little hooks right here, the eye, uh, eye screws. So then from there, I'll take us back around to this side to show off the wood paneling on the back doors. Same thing as on the sliding door, just split into two pieces so it's easier to mount. Uh, these two little holes are so I can still replace the lights on my license plate. So that came out really nice covering up the insulation on the back. Same on this side, uh, had the spot for the door handle so it can still function and I can still get in, no, in and out no problem. Uh, and covered up the rough cut of the hole. Uh, same material and I just love the look of it, covering up the insulation on this side as well. Here's the bug screen from the other side. And I was able to stain and seal the bed so that if any moisture got through it wouldn't cause any mold or problems. Also gives it a nice look while I'm working on it. And I did paint this back area as well and even added a couple of little shelves. Still need to kind of finish up the painting down here. I ran out of paint and never got back to it. Uh, shelves here and then a nice big one over here next to the ventilation holes. And as you can see, I've got some LED lights the hook up to this switch over here and that turns those on so I got light back here if I happen to need it when it's a little bit uh, a little dark outside. So that's kind of everything I've managed to complete so far. Today I do plan on adding my cabinet doors with some locking hinges as well as locking knobs so that I don't have to worry about them moving around when I'm driving. But uh, it's all coming together and I hope to be done pretty soon. Thanks for checking it out and y'all have a good one.